Have you come across hydrogen peroxide as a way to treat your houseplant soil? If so, you've come to the right place. Hey guys, it's Joe here, coming at you with another video from Hermit Garden in my new house that I just moved into, along with my snake plant. And in this video, we're gonna talk about hydrogen peroxide, what it is, and what does it exactly do for your plants. So if you're not sure what hydrogen peroxide is, it's basically a type of chemical that you can get in most pharmaceutical stores or drug stores. And it's basically made up of the same atoms as water. So hydrogen peroxide is just H2O2, whereas water is just H2O. So maybe you've come across hydrogen peroxide while you're just kind of browsing around, probably when you're looking at trying to treat your soil to get rid of some pests like springtails or maybe fungus gnats. But aside from those things, there's also a couple of other benefits that hydrogen peroxide can do for your plants, such as aerating the soil and getting rid of any fungus or mold. Those are also some other benefits that I haven't seen talked about too much. So let's start out by talking about treating pests. Um, so like springtails and fungus gnats. When you apply hydrogen peroxide to your plant soil, what it's doing is killing off the larvae that's left by these pests. So like springtails and fungus gnats, they both like to lay their eggs in the soil so that they can reproduce. And so hydrogen peroxide is a way to kill off these larvae before they can grow into full-grown adults and p potentially attack your plants. Springtails, by the way, they don't actually harm your plants. I have another video about that that uh, talks about that a little bit more if you want to check it out. But hydrogen peroxide is a really good way to get rid of the larvae on top of maybe using like some yellow sticky paper to catch the adults while addressing the root cause of killing off any larvae that might be hiding and growing in the soil. So now that we kind of got the obvious out of the way, let's talk a little bit about what hydrogen peroxide can also do to give your plants some additional benefits besides dealing with some pests. If you apply hydrogen peroxide to your soil, what it actually does is it can actually aerate the soil. So how it works is if you've ever tried pouring hydrogen peroxide on something, you might've noticed that some bubbles will start to come up. Uh, maybe you'll start to see it fizz a little bit like um, pouring some soda on something. And essentially what's happening is the H2O2 is decomposing into water and oxygen. And that's what the bubbles are. That's essentially just oxygen being released as a byproduct of the hydrogen peroxide decomposing. When you actually pour that hydrogen peroxide into your plant soil, those bubbles will actually move around, aerate the soil a little bit. So those oxygen bubbles will push dirt out of the way, break it up a little bit and allow your plant soil to be more exposed to oxygen. So that can be helpful if you're starting to deal with a little bit of root rot. Root rot happens when your plants are essentially starved of oxygen. And so the idea is if you apply, if you give your plants a little bit of hydrogen peroxide, that's going to kind of replenish the air that is deprived from and it's supposed to help treat the uh, root rot situation. I don't think it always works, but I think it's a nice thing to try in case you don't have any other options. So besides treating your plant soil and also trying to get rid of uh, some pests, hydrogen peroxide can also be used as a pre-treatment for any seeds or cutlings that you might have. So what it does is it acts, it's actually a disinfectant, it kills off bacteria. And so when you're trying to grow your plant from seeds or propagate your plants or something like that, treating it with a little bit of hydrogen peroxide is gonna to help to kill off any bacteria that might make it a little bit more difficult for your plants to grow. It might help your plants to grow bigger and stronger than it would if it was having to fight off this bacteria. Because if your plant can devote less energy to fighting off bacteria, that means it has more energy to devote to creating nutrients for itself to grow bigger and stronger. So if you wanna treat your seeds or your cutlings with hydrogen peroxide, I would say you can just dip it a little bit in hydrogen peroxide to kill off the bacteria. It's kind of like you're just kind of sterilizing your seeds or your cutlings and just wiping them, cleaning them off from any bacteria before you go ahead and propagate those or putting, putting them back into the soil. And if you're gonna do that, by the way, I, recommend, I also recommend doing that to the soil as well, whatever medium you're gonna put your seeds or your cutlings into, just to make sure that everything's sterilized because it, it's not really gonna help if you just sterilize the seeds but you, you don't do anything to the soil. Bacteria in the soil is just gonna get onto your seeds and that sterilization that you did on your seeds isn't really gonna do much for you. It kind of defeats the whole purpose. I also wanna talk a little bit about how you're supposed to use hydrogen peroxide. So when you go out and buy a bottle of hydrogen peroxide, most of the time it'll tell you a concentration that it's gonna come in. So you aren't actually buying a bottle of pure hydrogen peroxide, at least I don't 
think that's probably what you're going to get at like a, dr a drugstore or something. If I had to guess, the concentration you're going to get is probably around 3%. I think that's the most common one that you'll see. That's the type of stuff that you'll see to treat like scrapes and bruises or like disinfectant purposes. You might also see something that comes in a little bit higher concentration, like maybe 30% or more. But in either case, the hydrogen peroxide is actually going to be mixed with a little bit of water. It's essentially diluting the concentration to levels that are probably going to work better for what you're trying to use it for. In my opinion, when it comes to plants, you're going to want to dilute that concentration even more. If you're getting a bottle of 3% hydrogen peroxide, what I recommend is you take at most one cup, one cup of hydrogen peroxide and four cups of water. So that's the absolute maximum that I would recommend doing this. Um, any more than that, and it can actually be harmful to your plants. Uh, so you can take a couple of measuring cups and measure that out, pour, pour it into a cup and pour it into your plant soil. But if you don't have any measuring cups, you could also just eyeball it. If anything, you can go a little bit, you can go a little bit lighter on the concentration, and I think that will probably be fine as well. I recommend staying on the safe side rather than going overboard with uh, the hydrogen peroxide just to be safe. And so you can just pour like just a little bit of hydrogen peroxide in a cup and then give it like mostly water. So like you can maybe roughly do one part hydrogen peroxide and 10 parts of water and that's probably going to be good enough for your needs. If you're going to start with something that's really high concentration like 30% or more, then I would recommend putting even less of the hydrogen peroxide solution into your mixture. So maybe like one part of this 30% 30% hydrogen peroxide mixture and maybe like a hundred parts water. So that's maybe something like a couple of drops of your solution and maybe a big cup of water. And I think that will probably be good enough for what you're trying to do. So now let's talk a little bit about how often you're supposed to use it. You can kind of think about hydrogen peroxide as a little booster for your plant or like a supplement. So where I'm trying to go with that is that you really don't want to be using hydrogen peroxide as a regular treatment for your plants. You only want to do it in small doses at a time, not really as often as you would be watering your plants, uh, let's say. I would recommend at most you would add this hydrogen peroxide mixture to your plants once a week for about a month. And I think after that I would kind of uh, hold off on any more hydrogen peroxide beyond that. It also kind of depends on how often you're watering your plants. So if you have a plant that's very rarely watered, you probably don't want to give it as much hydrogen peroxide and you want to kind of tailor it to how often you're watering your plants. Because whenever you're adding hydrogen peroxide to your plant, you're also going to be adding a whole lot of water to your plants. So you're essentially watering your plants with, uh, with your dose of hydrogen peroxide. Because if you remember, we're using like four parts water, one part 3% solution of hydrogen peroxide. So it's like almost 95% water that you're giving your plant. Hydrogen peroxide isn't something that you should use more than how often you're watering your plants. If anything, you would probably want to do it less often than that. Just as a general rule of thumb, I would say you want to use hydrogen peroxide as like a once or twice treatment and definitely not something that you're going to do for multiple watering sessions for months on end. But that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you learned something new about hydrogen peroxide. If you want to get some hydrogen peroxide, you can go to a CVS or something, go to your local drugstore or they probably have it. You can probably find these in the first aid area where you can find like rubbing alcohol and things like that. And that'll probably work for your plants. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, if you learned something new, give it a like, helps the algorithm, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.